Amelia was a big surprise. Kathy turned to me and said, hey, I have some news for you. I was 43 when we found out we were pregnant. Obviously, you know, later in life as you have children, there's, there's more concerns. We went in for our first ultrasound at about 12 weeks. They could hear the murmur and, and some sort of indicators that said, hey, let's watch pretty closely. She was in the NICU for about two weeks and she was diagnosed with Down syndrome, but then she also had failure to thrive because her heart had to work extra hard. That diagnosis scared me. The Down syndrome diagnosis didn't, didn't even phase me, but that diagnosis scared the crap out of me. Once she was born, she not only had a NICU team, she had a cardiology team, and they were actually very surprised when she was born at how well she was doing considering her type of defect. So she wasn't able to nurse or take a bottle, so she had an NG tube for feedings, which she went home with from the hospital. So we had to learn how to put the tube in and feed her. And the first few months were just trying to get her to gain weight and to grow so that she could have her surgery. One of the things both doctors had told us is you wanna go someplace where they do that surgery the most because they see it more, she'll have a better outcome. We get this phone call and I remember her saying, Philadelphia. So we drove 16 hours straight with the girls. We had just a little bit of time to kind of decompress and clean up and head to the hospital. The day of her surgery came and um, we went, took her back and the anesthesiologist came in and she was talking to us and she says she couldn't be in better hands she goes, I love watching him do surgery. She goes, he just has a special way. And she says, he opens them up and he pulls their little heart out and looks at it in his hands. And right then I knew that she, okay. And she was, he was amazing. If you're gonna take the diagnosis and just see the bad side of it, the negative side of it, it's not gonna help you get to where we are now with Amelia. Tomorrow you can say, yesterday sucked. And then tomorrow you can say yesterday sucked, but you gotta get to that tomorrow. You know, if you're stuck in that what sucks on yesterday, you're not gonna see that tomorrow and you're not gonna go anywhere. But I would say focus on, on the good things that can happen and don't take a minute for granted, but educate yourself. Make sure that, you know, reach out to organizations like the American Heart Association, and connect with people who have been through the same or similar journey that you're going through. When she was seven months old, she could barely even raise her hand, up, you know, or raise her head up to look at you and to see her now. It's just... Seeing her, like, just go from having no energy to, you know, being this, like, bright and cheery. and She is a force, <laughs> to say the least. The girl has one thing on her mind, it's whatever's next, and she will have the determination to get whatever it is. She's very active, very happy, um, very busy, and constantly on the go. Whether it's the next task, the snack, the spot on the couch, whatever it is, if it, Amelia wants it, she will go after it. So she has a lot of determination. She has brought us a lot of joy. She is on fire. She just goes. Her attitude alone will probably be enough to get her wherever she wants to go. I see her doing nothing but positive things and making the world smile.